All right, so the general approach I would use for this problem is I would build this rectangle right here. So we're given 4.5 inches wide and three inches across. And then I would extrude that up for the thickness of the 0.75. And then I would cut out this hole and this hole from this piece. And then I would start a new sketch on the bottom and I would put this rectangle up from the bottom and then I would cut this part out. So. We'll start our new sketch. Rectangle. Smart dimension this. 4.5. And three. Then we're going to extrude this up 0 0.75 inches. And we're going to go to sketch and then click on this top surface. And then we're going to go to rectangle hover over this right line until it's orange and then we're going to click and then drag it over. Go to smart dimension again and we can see right here that the hole cut out is two inches wide by 1.5 inches deep and it's 0.5 inches offset there. Then let's draw a circle and smart dimension again. We can see that its diameter is 0 0.75. It's 1.5 inches off of the bottom. And 2.67 inches from the middle to this right side. There we go. And then we can go over here to features and extruded cut. And then right here, we're going to select through all. And then on selected contours, we're going to select the inside of this circle and this square. If it looks like this with the arrow going up, just click right there to flip it going down. There we go. And then to build this side wall, I'm going to look at it from the bottom. And then I'm going to draw a rectangle on the left hand side. Got a rectangle, highlight this left edge again, and go up to the corner and then come all the way down until the bottom is highlighted orange. Go to Smart Dimension here, and we see that the width of this is 0 0.75 inches. And then we're going to go to Extrude. And we can see how it's going the wrong direction right here. So we're going to click this switch arrow because we want it going up. And we see that it's 2.5 inches tall. I'm going to click right here to blind and 2.5. Yep. And then we're going to look at it from the front. Sketch again, select this face. And then you can do this a few different ways. So we're going to need this line on the top left going across. But before we extrude it, we need to define the rest of this. So you can either draw using your line tool 
from there down and across over and then back to this point or you can come to convert entities click that and then you can either select the face in this green check mark or you can select each individual line one at a time and then the green check box what that's going to do is it's going to bring all of the lines that are attached to that face you just selected to the current sketch so you don't have to redraw them and then we see this line is two inches from this side and this is one inch down we're going to go to features extrude cut go to through all selected contours and this corner there we have it